everybody. Joyce here with the Traveling Gamblers and I am here with John. Hello, John. Hello, Joyce. And John and I are here <laughs> on the Celebrity Silhouette and we are standing outside our cabin, 1564. We are on deck 11. It is an aqua class cabin and we're going to do a tour and we're gonna take you along. Here we go. When you first come in the room, to the immediate left is your light switch, and that controls all of the lights on the ceiling. And right here on the back of the door is where you will find the deck plan and your assembly station and your best route to your assembly station, information about your life jackets, and they are located under your bed. And you have your standard peephole. And you have your do not disturb magnet. If you put this out, it's the same on both sides. One is black and one is white. Either side, put it on a new door. Anytime you do not wish to be disturbed and it works like a charm. Right past the light switch on the left is the bathroom door. And outside the bathroom door is the light switch. The bathroom on cruise ships are not very big, generally speaking. And there's the size of the floor. So that will give you an idea of how big the bathroom is or how small it is. And there is next to the sink, there's a glass door with four shelves. And below that is another cabinet. And there's some extra tissues in there. So there's three shelves in there. They're pretty deep, they're about 10 inches deep. And that bag has your blow dryer in it. And there's your vanity, it has a bowl sink. And your soaps in Aqua Class, they give you company Bigelow soap and hygiene products. They give you shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and a full bottle of body lotion to use. And there's your hand soap. There's some washcloths and a tissue box. And there are one, two drawers, very small drawers. Not much are gonna fit in there. There's additional toilet paper, and that is for the toilet brush. And there's your commode, and your shower. In Aqua, the shower is a little bit different. It has full body spouts, so it actually has three different modes. The first mode is the normal shower head, which by the way, is fully adjustable. And it's nice and tall. Um, somebody six foot plus would definitely be able to fit under it, no problem. The second mode would be to take the head down and use it as a wand. And then there's also two modes for the body. They, you can adjust it so that the water shoots out of here as well. And these are only in the aqua cabins. There are your products, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. There's a handle for you to hold on to if need be. There's a foot rest for your shaving needs. There are two hooks for you to hang things that you want to dry. And the shower doors, each door comes in to close in the middle. So it's like a half dome. And I'm gonna step out and show you the full bathroom. There we go. And there's your towel racks with your towels on them. So just outside the bathroom on the wall is your thermostat. All the way to blue is the coldest and all the way to red is the warmest. Just past that is a full length mirror for you to check your look before you leave the room. 
And over here, there's your trash can. And this is a desk slash vanity. These bottles of water have a charge associated with them. And they give you a price list here. There's also a mini bar in the fridge and the prices are there for that. There's a full large mirror here. And there's a light for there. And there's a nice comfortable chair with a back on it. So if you have any work to do with the desk, that's always helpful. And there's a drawer. And if you stick around to the end of the video, John and I are going to unpack all of our things and we will show you how we set up our cabin with some, what I think is really great pro tips that we have learned over the years of cruising. So that'll be at the end. And over here are your outlets. These are the only outlets in the room. The first two are your standard US outlets and there's a, a European outlet. And the last one is a ethernet outlet. If you have difficulty with the Wi-Fi in your cabin, you can request a booster and uh, maintenance will come and put a booster in for you free of charge, but ask early on in the cruise because there aren't that many and it's first come first serve. If you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button, hit the thumbs up and let us know that you like it. It really helps out the channel a lot and it also lets us know what you like. Continuing on, this top door is your safe and it's a pretty large safe. It's definitely big enough to fit a small laptop. John and I both have uh, MacBook Pros and they fit in there nicely. And below that is your refrigerator. And there are the mini bar items. There's our complimentary bottle of champagne and we have some waters that we brought up from Cafe Obaccio. But anything else that's in the refrigerator that was there when you came in, that all has a charge and that is on that price list that I just showed you a couple minutes ago. And moving next is a nice size counter here with a very nice size TV. And here there are three very deep drawers. I would say that drawer is probably a good 10 inches deep. It's a very nice size drawer. There's a canvas bag that they give you as complimentary. Everybody gets one that's on the cruise. And then there are two more drawers exactly like it. So I'm gonna back up and I'll show you the whole setup there. And then moving over here is the closet. Closet is one of the things about this cabin that I do not like. This is a bag that they give you because it's aqua. It has two pairs of slippers in it and it also has uh, two lip balms. And the reason I don't like the closet is because I feel like the way that the doors are, it's very difficult to get access to the other side. The door doesn't open very far and it's challenging to get in, especially with the sofa here. So if I were to improve on anything in this cabin, it would be the where the closet is and the setup with it. Anyway, in Aqua, they give you two very nice robes to use. They also give you two yoga mats to use if you wanna to go to any of the yoga classes. And they give you an umbrella to use. Up top is a bar with plenty of hanging space and you can always ask for extra hangers. And then there's an additional bar that comes down in the back that you could hang additional items on. So you could have a second tier of hanging items if you need to. And just next to the closet is the sofa. It's a nice size sofa. They already put the table where I would put the table. Normally the table is kind of in the middle of the floor 
and I always make sure that I tuck the table in all the way under the couch like that. It really gives you a lot of space and you still have full use of the table. The couch, believe it or not, is very comfortable and it's a very nice size. And moving on to the bed. I just love the celebrity beds. I have never had a bad night's sleep in a celebrity bed. They're very, very comfortable. In Aqua, you do have a choice of pillow type. You can ask your cabin steward if you desire additional pillows or different types of pillows. You can also have the bed made into a king or you can have it separated into two twins. Next to the bed on the headboard is a bedside lamp and a nightstand with three shelves. And there's your phone. And the same setup on the other side of the bed. Nightstand with three shelves and a light. And on this side, there's also the light that controls the ceiling. So if you get into bed and you have forgotten to turn off the ceiling lights, the person on this side has the ability to do that while in bed. Then there's additional storage that John and I didn't know about for quite some time. When we came in the room, it always looked like this. Little did we know that that opens up and is a huge storage space up above. And it's the same on both sides. One time we came into the cabin and they were open and that's how we knew that they were storage cabinets up there. Otherwise we had no idea. So that's very nice extra storage space and we utilize every bit of it every single time. On to the drapes. They're very heavy room darkening drapes from both sides. Let me back up and show you. It's not exactly light tight, but it's pretty close. It's nice because there is a wall behind the curtain here. So the curtain does go up against the wall. So it's pretty close. So those of you that are light sensitive, I think these do a pretty good job. And last but not least is the balcony. When you go out on the balcony, the position of the handle up is closed. The position of the handle down is open. It's very important to have your veranda or balcony door closed tightly and the position of the handle up all the time, unless you're sitting out there and you want the door open. While it is in the down position, your air conditioning turns off. So please keep that in mind whenever the handle for your veranda door or balcony door is in the down position, your air conditioning is off. And out on the balcony, we are still in port. We are in Miami and the balcony is a very nice size. In my opinion, you have two adjustable reclining chairs. And they have about four positions to recline. And underneath each is a footrest. And you can tuck it underneath the chair for storage. And then there's a nice size table. The balcony is as wide as the cabin. And it's definitely enough space for sure. It's a great place to sit and have morning coffee or maybe a glass of wine before dinner. It, it's very, it's, it's a very nice size balcony. It is probably six feet deep. So very, very nice. If you haven't done so already, we invite you to subscribe to our channel. You just hit subscribe below this video and turn on the notification bell to let you know of new videos that we post. Let me go outside and turn around and I wanna show you a full picture of the cabin. It is definitely, one of my favorite ships and I love this cabin. I think it's everything that you possibly need. We occasionally stay in a suite and it is very nice, don't get me wrong. 
but I really do love the Aqua Cabin. I love the going to Blue. We're gonna do a review on that. Next will be the pro tips for the way we set up the cabin. As promised, here are our pro tips for making your cabin more organized. The first tip is I take the bulky robes out of the closet to free up space and hangers. And there are two hooks on the wall here just opposite the bathroom door and I hang the robes there and they are out of the way and they're right outside the bathroom door. The second tip is we bought these magnetic hooks. They're very strong magnets and we utilize them throughout the cabin. I have some small purses that I bring with me on cruises and I use them to hang them and they're right near the door. So as I'm on my way out, I can grab whichever one I want and there's really no place else to put something like that. They're, they're little, but I don't know, tucked away in a drawer or something doesn't really make sense to me. So I like them hanging there and then I can decide which one I want to use. I also use the hooks to hang my traveling gambler's hat. Again, right by the door as I'm getting ready to walk out. And John uses hooks over here in this section. He hangs a light jacket, a tote bag, and his hat and lanyard. I will also hang my lanyard over with my purses. One of the things that John discovered is that not only are the walls magnetic, but the ceilings are magnetic. When you go on a celebrity cruise, they give you beach towels in your cabin for you to take off the ship if you were going on an excursion. And they also give you a tote canvas bag. Everybody gets one. I roll up the towels and I put them in the bag and I hang the bag from the ceiling. It's out of the way and ready to go when we want to get off the ship and take the towels with us. What's next? In the original video, there was a tray here with bottles of water and drinking glasses and it was taking up the entire space. I moved the tray to over here, put the glasses underneath. They fit nicely underneath the TV so it's out of the way and the bottles are down there on the floor because we're not gonna use them because they come at a charge. That frees up the desk slash vanity space. I take the, the blow dryer out of the bathroom and I put it here in the drawer along with my makeup and my hair products. And it's conveniently located for me here at the vanity and it is out of the way. The next thing we do is we bought this USB plug because as you know, there are no USB outlets in the cabin. So we bought this as four spaces. It takes up one outlet and we can charge all of our electronics there. Additionally, we each have a battery pack. We use this during the day mostly. We take it with us if we're going off the ship and we bring it just in case our phone runs out of battery and you never know when you're gonna need it. So we have those battery packs each. We also use them for our laptops if we're working a lot downstairs. The other thing we do is we have this hamper. The hamper is a two-sided, very lightweight mesh hamper and if you only need one side or your space is small, it folds up very easily to become one-sided or you can open it up and have it two-sided. We use it right here in front of the closet and we use it for our dirty laundry. It keeps it, the room organized and clean and you still can fully access this side of the closet. 
John hasn't unpacked his suitcase yet, so that's what that is. I take the yoga mats and then lay them down on top of each other in the back, so that gives us plenty of room for shoes. I really love the hamper, and then at the end of the cruise, I take the laundry out and I roll it up and I put it on one side of my suitcase and I put the clean clothes that I overpacked on the other side of the suitcase. All of these items can be purchased on Amazon and we are in the process of getting an affiliate link so that we can put them in the description to make it easy for you to purchase. So check in the description below and you might see the link there for these items. Magnetic hooks, the USB port charger, the battery pack, and the hamper. And I think that does it for all of our pro tips. I'm gonna go join John out on the balcony. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, we hope you have a wonderful day. Yeah.